Good day everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss to you about finding the LCM of polynomials. But before I start, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell for you to be updated of my upcoming videos. In my previous video, I discussed to you about finding the LCM or the least common multiple of 2 and 3 numbers. This time, we will apply that learning to find the LCM of polynomials. Are you ready? Let's start! x squared and x y so we have two monomials and we are going to find the lcm of these monomials to find the lcm we are going to factor x squared the factors of x squared are x and x and we will also factor x y which is x times y then we are going to encircle the common factor we have here x then we will list down the common factor and the non-common factor then we will multiply them to get the lcm common factor x then the non-common factors we have x and y if you are going to multiply this one, we have x squared y. This is now the LCM of these two monomials, x squared y. In shortest way, if you are going to find the LCM of the two monomials with one as numerical coefficient, then you are going to copy the variable with the highest exponent. In our example, we have x squared and xy. So in x, we have x squared because the highest exponent is 2. In y, we have y and the highest exponent is 1. So we have x squared y is the LCM of these two monomials. Let's have Another example, I have here 4x squared y and 7xy squared. First, we have to factor the two monomials. 4x squared y, the factors of this are 2 times 2 the prime factorization of 4 times x times x and times y next we are going to factor also 7 x y squared so we have 7 times x times y times y next is we are going to encircle the common factors as you can see in the numerical coefficients we don't have common factors because 4 and 7 have no common factor in variable we have x and we have also y then we can now find the LCM Let's start with the numerical coefficients. Since we don't have common factors, we will multiply directly 4 and 7. Then copy the common factor x times. We have non-common factor x. 
times the common factor y times the non-common factor y. 4 times 7 is 28. x times x is x squared. y times y is y squared. So this is now the LCM of the given two monomials. Remember, if you are given two monomials which the numerical coefficients have no common factor, you can just directly multiply the two numbers. Just like in our example, 4 and 7 have no common factor, so we are go going to multiply 4 and 7, and that's 28. In the variable, as I said, you just copy the variable with the highest exponent. In x, we have x squared here, and we have x here. So you will copy x squared. In y, we have y here and y squared. So you will copy y squared. That is only applicable if you are given monomials. What if you are asked to find the LCM of three monomials? For example, we have 3x squared, 12xy, and we have 15 x y squared so we will factor each monomial first we have 3x squared so that's 3 times x times x 12 x y is equal to 3 times 4 times x times y 15xy squared is equal to 3 times 5 times x times y times y. Then we are going to find the common factors. We have 3. We have x. And we can have y. Then let's copy the common factors and the non common factors. Let's start with the numerical coefficients. We have 3 times 4 times 5. In the variable, we have common variable x, non common variable x common variable y and of course we have non-common variable y then we are going to multiply this to get the LCM 3 times 4 is 12 times 5 is 60 x times x is x squared y times y is y squared so this is the LCM of the given three monomials what if you are given binomial or trinomial? How are you going to find the LCM of those polynomials? Let's have an example. We have x plus 2 and the other one is x squared minus 4. The same process, we are going to factor each polynomial x plus 2 is a binomial with factors 1 in itself. So we will write x plus 2. x squared minus 4 is equal to, as you can see, this binomial is a difference of two squares. So the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 2. Alright. Next, let's encircle the common factor. We have x plus 2. Then, we can find now the LCM. 
we have the common factor x plus 2 times the non-common factor x minus 2. You can express the LCM in factored form like this. So this is the LCM in factored form. Or you can express the LCM in expanded form. And that is, you are going to multiply this two binomials. We have x squared minus 4. Again, x plus 2 times x minus 2 is the LCM in factored form. x squared minus 4 is the LCM in expanded form. Let's have one more example. I have here x squared plus 2x plus 1 and the other polynomial 2x plus 2. Trinomial, binomial. Again, let's factor these polynomials. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1. This trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. So the factors of this are x plus 1 and x plus 1 or the square of the binomial x plus 1. Then we will factor also 2x plus 2. This binomial has greatest common monomial factor that is 2. So we will factor this 2 times the other factor is x plus 1. Now let's encircle the common factor we have x plus 1. Let's start with the numerical coefficient 2 the common factor x plus 1 and the non-common factor x plus 1. So you can express the LCM in this form. This is factored form or you can express it in expanded form. Let's find the LCM in expanded form. 2 times we will multiply these binomials x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then we will distribute 2 to each term in the trinomial. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times positive 2x is positive 4x. 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. Again, this is the LCM in factored form and this is the LCM in expanded form. Alright, that's how you are going to find the LCM of polynomials. It is just very easy to find the LCM of polynomials. You need to factor the given polynomials. Encircle the common factors, then you can now find the LCM of the given polynomials by multiplying the common factors and the non-common factors. Again, you can express the LCM of polynomials in factored form or in expanded form. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, click like, put good comment, and share it to others. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Hit the notification bell for you to be updated of my upcoming videos. Until next time, see ya!